Hi, this is Mara Vlasic, one of your instructional technology coaches. Today I'm going to show you how to create and set up your Zoom account. The first thing we're going to do is go to zoom.us. This will take us to the Zoom homepage and we're going to click this blue sign up it's free button. Because you have a district Gmail account, we'd like you to sign in with Google. So you're going to scroll down and click on the sign in with Google. And then you'll have to choose your account. So please choose your school district account and enter your password. And this is where you can agree to the terms of service. If you'd like to read through them, you can click on that link right there and then click create account. This is going to take us to the Zoom homepage for our account, so I'm now signed in. Um, the very first tab here is your profile. This is information about your Zoom account. I'm going to scroll down um, and click on this download button. So there's two ways to use Zoom, either web-based um, through uh, a web browser like Chrome, or we can download the desktop app to our computers. Um, I suggest downloading, downloading the desktop app. It's just easier to use um, and more convenient for you. So we're going to click download. And then we're going to click this first download under Zoom client for meetings. So please click that blue download button and that will open the app on our computer. Once it finishes its install, we're going to get this uh, browser that says Zoom Cloud Meetings, and I want to sign in with my school Gmail account. So we have to sign in again, and we're gonna click Sign In with Google, and we'll have to verify our account again. So I'm gonna click on my email address, and I have this, this box opens open Zoom and I want to click the open Zoom button. What that's doing is it's opening the desktop app. So this is the home page for the desktop app. Um, one thing I suggest that you do is down here on your taskbar, I would right click on that Zoom icon and click pin to taskbar. What that will do is it will keep that zoom icon on your taskbar so that if you're using this frequently, you can just click on that icon to open up your homepage right here. Um, so we have successfully logged into Zoom through the web browser and we have now downloaded the Zoom app on our computer.